we, we both have our own thing that we're doing, um, but we have a thing that we do together as well. <laughs> We've just recorded a, uh, a song called In Isolation, and uh, it's kind of very, very apt towards the, the problems that we have in the world today. Um, and I, I wrote this on a, a biscuit tin guitar that a guy, a fellow by the name of Jeff Long, in Melbourne, made for me out of a Savers tin, a Savers biscuit tin. It was, it's still got the dollar ninety nine sticker on the back of it, and so I tune it A D A B, and and I just wrote this sort of Eastern sounding thing, and I thought, got to get together with Chris and and uh, do this song. So Chris put everything on it from. Sitar and Chumbush with a with a with a bow. A bow yeah, I've played a bunch of ethnic instruments, Turkish and Arab uh, and Indian and percussion and so forth. Uh, we recorded in my house here. Will and myself have been friends for a long, long time, uh, and so sort of our friendship's part of the music. And whenever we get together, it's just it's just so easy because we both listen to each other and, and we seem to know how to work together. Well, I've stolen a lot of things off you, you know. So <laughs> very, com- very comfortable working together because uh, it just it just seems very natural to do. Forty two years now. Yes, yeah. Anyway, you carry on about what you're doing. Oh no, 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 no that's okay. Um, so we're we're going to put this song out as soon as I mix it. I was supposed to be mixing it tonight, but <laughs> we're doing this. But I'll go back home and uh, we're trying to get it out this week. Um, our friend Robin Linder's done a, a video for it. And uh, he, in fact, he videoed it while we were recording it in, in Chris's living room here. So um, it's a it's a pretty interesting song. And we've recorded a, a, our second album together in the house here, which I don't know when that will be released, but we've nearly finished that. We nearly finished it, yeah. yeah. We, in fact, we recorded the first one in the house here. <laughs> yeah. I, sh- I should point out that, um, Gwyn, you're now based in the UK, but you, you're actually stranded uh in Australia, yeah. uh, you were on tour. Uh, when, did, when did you arrive in Australia again? I, I, I arrived November 15, the day after my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I stayed an extra month to do a blues festival in Melbourne that didn't happen. Um, otherwise, I would be in England right now with COVID, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, we stranded, but Greenpeace can't refloat him. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a whale of a joke. Um, so I'm, I'm actually busier now than I have been for a long time um, because we're, we're doing our thing. Chris has got his thing, I've got my thing. Um, doing some songwriting with, with, with Dave Gleason from Screaming Jets. We got together last week. We're going to do another session tomorrow. Uh, I've been I put a little trio together here in town with Michael Bryant and Mick Marina, uh, rhythm section. Um, putting a power duo together with Travis Fugani from uh, Super Jesus, and he's a fantastic drummer. And wow, doing some recording in a in a studio in Melbourne. We did a um, I did a solo tribute to Rory Gallagher, another another great guitar player who's no longer with us. Um, I've recorded eight of his songs. My own way, you know, I wasn't born lap slide and resonated guitar and, and four, of, four of my songs that I, I recorded with his bands over in England. So it's not, it's not, it's not a, a tribute show album. It's, it's, it's my own sort of um, take, take, yeah, pulled apart his songs and just re- reconfigured them for those instruments. So I just wanted to play them on instruments that Rory didn't play the songs on and some of them are in different keys and different um, just interpretations basically. What you said is great when you said Rory's no longer with us. He is an occasion point we're talking about Peter Green. Yeah. It's yeah. the fact that he is with us because we're using we, we're using those things that we learned from these great guitar players the same as Robbie Cannon. You, 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 all those things are uh, useful. You've inspired enough to it makes you want to play them. You know, and that's that's the legacy they've all left us to be able to take the, take that music and and take it to another place. Uh, I, I think that's the job of 
of every generation of, of guitar players is to learn from the past and take it to a new, take it to their own place. And, uh, it never stops, does it? We're lucky. There's so much to choose from. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've, uh, oh, sorry, go on. Um, Chris, what's your situation with isolation? Have, have you become more creative? How have you handled the situation? Uh, yeah, look, I, I, I think I have. Um, due to my reason, I don't drive anyway, so all my getting a bounce on Shaxx's is pony. Um, but uh, I'm in the process of writing a book, which is far harder than any music I've ever written, uh, uh, a book called Finnanisms, and I'm, I've been working on that for over a year. Uh, it's making me get stuck into it now. Um, I've recorded a, uh, a new album with my with my electric band, which is called To My Southern Town, and that's going to be released on November the 1st. Um, and I've also recorded a DVD, which hopefully will be released before Christmas. And that's a live DVD with the band and the people, the place I recorded it at, they, they had a big room and they very kindly gave us a room. There was no audience there, but we played it as if there was. And uh, we had one afternoon to do it. And it, it was just great to do that. You know, we can chop up all the songs and, work out which ones we're going to use and some of it's blues and some of it's, uh, you know, we do a version of Paco Bell's Canon D with Watson Matilda added to it as an instrument. Okay. And, so, and, and that African beats, African marketplace I've been doing for years. So I'm doing, as we said, I'm being very busy doing stuff. You don't get paid for any, any of it because you're not out in the public play. But I think, I think for all of us, and it probably just doesn't apply to music, you you, you've got more time to think and you start doing things that that you've been meaning to do for, for months. I've been going through old recordings on cassette tapes, which I'll have to get cleaned up when I've started listening to stuff that I recorded for the ABC in Adelaide in 1976. And, you know, out of, out of 90 minutes, it's probably about five minutes I could use because, <laughs> you know, when you're younger, you're, you're still doing your apprenticeship. But... Uh, yeah, I think it's it's um, if you if you're tagged with wanting to play music, you wake up in the morning and it's always there. It never goes away. So there's always work you can do. Yeah. Uh, last weekend yeah. normally would have been our Melbourne guitar show, uh, but uh, COVID put an end to that. Now, Chris, what are your memories of when you played the Melbourne guitar show? Oh, I've got some wonderful memories of it. I've done it a, a couple of times. Last year I did it with Phil Manning uh, on the Saturday, and then on the Sunday I did the round robin with, with Nick Charles. I, I think my my greatest memory of the guitar, I've, been, I've bought a couple of guitars there. One funny thing was a friend of mine who's left-handed was looking at guitars, and <laughs> he sent a thing on his phone to his wife, who's in Adelaide, and she sent a message back, and the message just said, put it down. <laughs> so I thought I might write an instrumental called Put It Down, but my, my, my greatest memory of the guitar show was hearing Shannon Bourne doing an outside concert and, and he played all of Axis Bowler's Love, including the song Axis Bowler's Love. And there's a lot of songs on that album that Jimmy never played live. And Shannon was just, I was just He's transfixed. I just stood, yeah. I couldn't move. I just thought, this is absolutely fantastic. That's probably my happiest memory of the show was him do, playing all of Axis Bowl's love. Yeah. And of course, Gwyn's always in Europe uh, normally when we're doing the guitar show. So we, I know. We haven't I had the, the pleasure. I'd, lo I'd love to come over and do it. That's a big hint. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got, a, I've got another single coming out with the boys in the band here called Down and Dirty, which is sort of like a power trio thing. So we're going to be launching that this week as well. Um, along with the, the single that Chris and I have done. So, yeah. um, so where's, totally different feel. <laughs> where's the best place for people to uh, uh, purchase or listen to this music? Well, for my stuff, they can go to my website and it's all on Bandcamp anyway. Um, I'm, I'm trying to work out how to release these two songs because they're just going to be digital released uh, initially uh, I'm still trying to work out which digital distributor or aggregator or whatever you want to call it is going to 
be the best one to put these out on. But you know, you never tied to them for. You can, you can give them 24 hours notice and they'll pull it down, but I just don't want to get ripped off in the process. And for me, I'm an analogue man in the digital world. I don't even use a computer, but I've got to... <laughs> my bass player in the band, is, he's going to set up something with his daughter. He's going to run. Uh, they're going to set up a website for me so that I, I've got physical copies of the CD and I'll be happy to send you one. I'll get your address from Gwen and pass one to you. But... Uh, that people will be able to buy it from the website and some of my old stuff as well. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's been great to chat, and uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. It's been really, really great to talk about this wonderful music.